streaming on a Monday. And this is the start of Super Mario Odyssey, which we did say, uh, what was it, Wednesday? I think it was. Wednesday. Yeah, though, of course, the part just went up on YouTube yesterday. Yeah, the part right. just went up yesterday with the amazing thumbnail. Mm. <laughs> but uh, let's just fucking start. I've been wanting to play this. I've been I've been playing a little bit on my own time, not really doing anything, but like just kind of refamiliarizing myself with controls. Oh shit. Bowser looking dapper as fuck, by the way. Yeah, Bowser looking like a JoJo villain. I feel like in those games it gets right into it. Yeah. Like, there's no like, alright, run up the Peach's castle and wait for Bowser to show up. Yeah, he's just here. This man pulling the odd job with the hat. And beating the fuck out of us. Oh, there it is. It's so weird that they made a game based around hats. Yeah. Not the hat. That is so awkward that it's like gibberish and then he actually says the name. Yeah, he said Peach and Mario. Yeah, that was awkward. Also, the hat is surprisingly not flat. It's it's oh, also it's oh, just, it's gone. It's gone. It's uh funny that like it took. You know, 30, I guess at the time, what, like 32, 33 years? Yeah. Uh, for Bowser to say, fuck it, I'm marrying this woman. Yeah. She birthed all my children. With or without consent, but still. Well, again, she, she you know, of course, the, I always poke fun the fan theory that she's the mother of all the, yeah. the Koopa kids, but... Now imagine Mario Galaxy but with camera controls. Better jumping too. Your momentum is not getting gimped yep. by anything. I love it. <sighs> so these are the hat people, I guess. Yep. Bunch of hat ghosts. Never heard of them until now, but, you know, they've lived here. Oh, he startles easily. Okay. Yeah, I mean, Peach had one. Bowser has one. The Cap Kingdom. Of course. So, it's not the Mushroom Kingdom. This is just the Cap Kingdom. Yeah, the Mushroom Kingdom's, like, over there. Yeah. Ah, shit. Kidnapped his little sister. Bowser looking surprisingly menacing. I just want to know, like, you don't know where they explain how Mario ends up not being in the Mushroom Kingdom. This is, like, one of the few games where they don't. Yeah. Because they're like, oh, this battle's happening above Peach's castle. He just got hit that hard. He got hit that hard. Also, Bowser made sure to wreck all their airships. Hmm. Okay, I can't. It's a lot of gibberish. Yeah. He just shoved his hat up his ass. And here we go. And there's your gimmick. There's the gimmick. And yep, at, least is. at least it's some fun shit. Yep. We also have a new party member. Cappy is now our companion. So, with Cappy, we can throw him with Y. 
We can hold Y and hold the cap out, which can also... We can jump on it. Yes. Now, the thing about this game is that coins, <coughs> they matter, but they also don't. Like, they don't heal health, but we can buy stuff later, and we will have to buy stuff later. I was going to say that they matter a little more than Galaxy, where they're literally just healing items. Yeah. So, of course, this is coming fresh off the Galaxy playthrough, so if you're watching this... You know, within the past couple weeks, mm -hmm. then we'll. Of course, we're gonna draw a lot of direct comparisons uh, to yeah. Galaxy because, again, one, um, we, just played it. we just played it, and two, it is. If that's considered the gold standard of 3D Mario games, then we have to see where in our minds. Which, uh, we are kind of have an idea, but in our minds, where this game stacks up against it. Yeah. Also, there's a shitload of coins hanging in there. Yeah, no more star biddies. No more biddies. Just co coinies? Gold. We got some gold. We've got the gold! But, you can tell Mario is just a lot more athletic. Also, you go through smoke and actually get char, which is really cool. Mm-hmm. Water? Water. And now he's wet. Though he looks more shiny than he does wet, but I digress. Now, uh, Dave, as you said in the last part of Mario Galaxy, because, of course, if they're just watching this this series, they don't know, you have 100% of this game in the past. I have absolutely 100% of this game in the past because I have lost all control of my life. That's how you recover health, by the way. Which also gets you coins if you're at full health. We will also point out that even though you have done a 100% playthrough, this will not be one. No, I'm not doing 100% playthrough. In fact, I'm pretty much just going to be getting what I have to get and then moving on. Not trying to make this a 80-part series. Yeah. Because there's, what, 400-something 400, 400 moons? Or is it more than that? It's a lot more than that. Is it? 999 is the max. Oh. Yeah, we're not going to be doing that. So Mario can roll. All those times the Olympic Games with Sonic have taught him some... Uh, taught him some tricks. Yes, sir. Gold Goombas uh, give you coins. They don't do anything else. Did they applaud you for uh, destroying all the posters? Yes, they did. We're about to get our first uh, taste of another new gimmick. So, in addition, though, in comparison to the Galaxy playthrough, a lot more traditional 3D Mario stuff. Yes. Here. No, no more bullshit camera angles. Like we have full control of the camera. In fact, I would argue it's probably the best camera control Mario has ever had. I mean, because it's, it's full. It's full camera control. So anyway, he says to throw a hat at the frog. You fucker. And here's where this game gets weird as hell. We have a possession gimmick. Which causes Mario to freak out. And Frog Mario! There actually is... I don't think we have access to it yet. Oh yeah, we do. Okay. Um, there is a bestiary. Okay. Now, with 52, we'll probably complete that. Yeah. Oh, frame scan. Frame? Well, I was like, whoa, that was an odd... Rings? Man, they... 
Their partnership with Sega really has taken some interesting developments. Yes, it has. Now, I'm actually going to go back. So, I think, was there stuff on the other side? I believe there was. See, it's nice that I can just do that. I can do that. I don't have to be, like, locked into a shit camera. Okay. Now, see, eventually, we are going to have to be more intuitive about stuff like that. Like, I'm not going to go after every moon, but if I know that a moon's nearby and I can get it to help us progress, I'm going to get it. Yeah. Because you do need to collect a certain amount just to even progress. Can I kill them? <coughs> I don't think I can kill them as a frog. That's okay. I'm not interested in that right now. I'm just going to collect my fucking coins here. Because we are going to have to buy costumes. That is a thing in this game. Mm -hmm. And some moons do require certain costumes. Yeah, because you can't access the... Yep, you can't access certain areas without it. Which is fine! It's a, that's, a, that's an okay gimmick. Yeah! As long as they make it a point to make you aware of that. Yeah. But see, we also have the extra three uh, hits, like we so did that, in Galaxy. So that's back. Though I think it'd be a problem if that wasn't back, because that's yeah. a great gimmick. Yeah, that that's actually useful. Checkpoints. That's a thing in this game. That's going to be open later. Then I assume there's a moon in there. Yeah. Every kingdom has a certain amount of moons. Like, we're probably going to need to, uh... We're probably not going to leave the Cap Kingdom right away. We're going to get our first one off this boss, right? Yep. Which, new characters! Ish. Yes. The boss warned me there'd be a fellow with a mustache coming along. Well, this guy is fucking, uh... He's an Italian. The Gabagool? We Gabagool up in here. I ain't saying nothing. The so Brutals. Basically, they're, they're replacements for the Koopalings. Yeah, they are. They're not as interesting either. It was kind of a weird decision. Yeah, it was. But you also know that fuck it. Also, we have free camera. Here. Honestly, two is gonna have the minute. Yeah. I'll probably have these guys and them. In it. Probably. I still don't really think Aussie two because we were supposed to get a sixty four two and then we never did. That's true. Super Mario one twenty eight. All right. So if I remember correctly, we just have to knock his hats off and then jump on him. Like, this is the tutorial boss, so it's, yeah. you know it's not going to be that. Weird sound effect. Kind of sounds like a, a cat. One of those, like, nom, 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 Yeah, it does sound like a cat. Also, two hits and he's done. And he's dead. He is, uh, dead, dead. But what is happening here? Title screen! It only took us 15 minutes to get there. It only took us 15. My god. What a god, we could have been there in five. Probably. But the coins. If I wasn't digging around, probably. Well, we gotta get those coins. Yep. So here's our first true kingdom. Yeah, I think we'll have to go back to Cat Kingdom, won't we? I don't, uh, I don't think we get our ship until... Yeah, I don't think we do, actually. Because all around the... On the way towards, uh... Fuck, what's the city called? New, uh, New Donk New City. New Donk City? Yeah. Our first power moon. 
Gee, I wonder what we gotta do. Yeah. Also, Cascade Kingdom, um, welcome to Jurassic Park. So, here's a gimmick. Purple coins. Now, funny enough, uh, we kind of encountered a similar gimmick near the end of our run in Galaxy, but they're here straight from the get-go Yep. in this game. Now, they... I, if I recall correctly, and please tell me if I'm wrong, they, they're a moon. Uh, yes, they are. Okay. Actually, no, they're not a moon. No, they are not a moon. They're not a moon? They are not a moon, but they are mandatory. Because you need them to buy costumes. <laughs> okay. Also, cool uh, little sprites. Original sprites are on the, uh, the, the rocks. Yes, sir. So don't you take it over? Or no? Okay, yeah. I remember this gimmick now. Now you may be thinking to yourself, man, that was really easy. Well, there's a good chunk of the moons are, are literally like that. Yeah. But you don't get reset. Nope. Like, you'll be in a huge area, and there's just a bunch of moons you can go get. Yes, sir. Which is one thing I really like about this game in comparison to old Mario's. Not it is a sandbox. It's yeah. It is not open world. That is incorrect. Yep. Yeah. Nope. People don't know the difference. Yeah. But there is a difference. All right. Well, before I've never we... seen anything like it. Before mm -hmm. we do any of this bullshit. I was going to say, we're going to do a little exploratizing. There's not too much over here, though. No, so we can move on. Well, this is definitely the uh, natural progression. Mm hmm. needs power moons to actually function. So I think they make you 100% this area, don't they? No. No? I thought I said there was five on the icon when you grabbed one. Technically, you're not 100%ing it. Oh, there's more later? A lot more later. Okay. This is... A my one real complaint about Odyssey, and this is kind of true with Galaxy as well, is that you can't 100% areas in your first run. Ew. Yeah. I mean, I get they want to try and make you go back, but like... But like, there's stuff that's like straight up post-game. Oh. Yeah. Now, there is a reason to do the post game. Because, like, there's actual extra areas and shit. Mm -hmm. <coughs> As opposed to just, like, oh, the game's over. That's just kind of it now. Yeah. You yeah, wonder if there's something secret back there. Nice, I catch. Very nice. Very nice. So this this past weekend, uh, we watched Borat 2. Hey, we got somebody. Yeah, what's up, Shadow? We watched Borat 2. That shit was so funny. Yeah, it was. Stephanie didn't like it, but she doesn't. She's not into into that kind of that movie anyway. But like, in terms of like our our humor, it was right up our alley. Yeah, we're we're all kinds of fucked up. So yeah. Can you take that one over? Oh yeah, okay. Oh, 
Also, you can't tell me that uh, that Rudy was not thinking about the his dick sucked. Oh, yeah. I looked at what they were saying. They said, oh, no, he was just trying to tuck his shirt back in. Yeah, bullshit. It's like, I don't know he, about that. He was touching his Peter. Yeah. He was touching Rudy Jr. down there. Yeah. Little Giuliani. Yeah. <laughs> Emphasis on little. Yeah. Motherfucker. This this music, by the way. Yeah. This game has no shortage of good music. For real. Now, I know you might think that's standard for Mario, but not every Mario track is a bop. This game has a shitload of bops. Yeah. Including the bop. Oh, yeah. The we'll lyrical to, song. We'll get to that. Probably today. Because we're... This game is pretty poggers. Uh... Maybe. You don't think we'll get that far? It's pretty early. No, it's not. No? I remember getting there pretty... Well, I guess with how you play Mario, probably very... No. <laughs> Jurassic Park is frightening in the dark. It's just weird to me that, like, things like hyper-realistic-looking dinosaurs exist in Mario canon. Yeah. There's a lot of stuff like that. Well, you killed it. Nope. But I did trap him. But he can't jump. Oh, God. Am I trapped under here? Oh, you know what? That ended up being okay anyway. Gee, I wonder what that is. That's not a reference to anything. Is that the post-game stuff? Yes. So, it's like... It's literally... There's a lot of stuff that straight up teases post-game stuff. Shout out to when this first came out and like everyone in the Discord was just vibing playing it. Yeah, th when this game came out, it was a pretty good time. And, and I think there was probably a, only a very small handful of people who play games who weren't playing this on release. Yeah. I know I was. I was. I, I stopped because I started, I started playing something else, which is not surprising to anyone who knows me, but... What came out after this that made me stop? I don't remember. It was something else on the Switch, I think. I was going to say, was it Persona related? Was that the same year? Did Persona 5 come out around the same time? It might have. It's been a while. Now oh, this is cool. Yep. And I'm also pretty sure that's why we needed the dinosaur. Yeah. So, wait, we can't do anything with this, but what we can do... What, what do you mean? What about that? The pipe. I was hinting at that. Oh, because it was already on screen, so... I was trying to... We were trying to build up fake tension. I was. It did not work. Well, it sucks to be me. Well, if the pipe hadn't been on screen, you got, you got a shot, but... You know, this is October 2017. So yeah, Persona was already out. Who knows? I, I'm a gar. I'm just garbage at finishing games, so it's probably just I probably just did a me on it. That's true. You still have to finish Ghost of Tsushima. I do. So join us next Monday. No. I mean, later on today, after this, we'll probably have a break after this stream, and then we're gonna be doing some uh, some Dynamax adventures. That's true. So I'm gonna have to. I can. I'll complete the Crown Tundra, which I've already beaten the story mode in Crown Tundra. So. 
Yeah, I haven't really touched the story mode. I've just been going on Dynamax Adventures. The story mode is nothing crazy. I'd imagine it's not, also. Don't act like I don't see that. Yep. Behind the waterfall. Now, we need two more moons before we can progress. So, I know there's been a lot of rumors of, like, Odyssey 2. Would you like them to go that route, or would you rather a whole new... Game? I'd like them to use this engine. And, I mean... I don't know, because I think the hack gimmick is pretty good. But at the same time... I don't think it's necessary either. Like, what I was kind of hoping when they did 3D All-Stars was that they just, like, redid all those games with this engine. Doc, did you imagine how good Galaxy would be? How good Galaxy would actually be? Yeah, also, like, you didn't have to use them at all. Nope. Now, I do believe... There is something There's something this. on the Triceratops head? There's something with it. I don't remember if it's, like... You have to hit it? Yeah, I knew. Or not. Maybe we gotta break all the spinal columns. Do you think it's like a secret moon? Yeah. This, this might lead to nothing, but again... We're here. We're here, and this is how you have to think in Odyssey. Because they would do shit like this. The captures were cool, but I got Omega overshadowed by the insane sh movement. I mean, that's true. Get the fuck out of the way. This is going so well at first. Oh my god. You're, you need to probably just grab the one on the outside. Or do that. Patience. Not one of my strong suits. No, the, the Mario Galaxy playthrough was a, a... A will and testament to that. Nothing happened Nothing happened there. But maybe I'll have to destroy the rock next to it? This one? No, no, no. The small ones. Okay, this might actually be leading to nothing. I mean, that's okay, though, because we're here. Like, I'm, again, not overly concerned. Maybe that could also be a post-game thing. Yeah. Look at that movement, man. That's crazy. Yes, it is. Gee, I wonder if you're related to the three or to the four. That's also like a crazy concept that like uh Just a boss that has like three I mean like if there was a boss that had three power stars. Yeah. Not how we're supposed to treat our pets. For real. Oh no, I took a hit. Yeah. 
She's so pissed. You know, red face is not acceptable in this day and age. Yeah, we're, I feel like we're kind of past the red face era, you know? Yeah. It's very derivative. It's very anti-ginger. Yeah. I, I'm a little offended, if I'm being honest. They might as well be saying you guys don't have souls. I know. Because you get a little upset and you turn just bright red. Like, like gotta cancel this game. Nintendo, Nintendo should have been canceled a long time ago. Yep. So, these multi-moons do count as what they are, three moons apiece. So, technically, I think we are actually good to go. Okay. The original Jinx design, yeah. Maybe bring that back. No, I'm kidding. Yeah. Whatever the next region is, the the well, the Aryan form of that needs to be original Jinx. Yeah. Now, bas basically, the game really begins. Yeah. The Odyssey is restored. I'm trying to remember how far I got. I, I, I'll probably recognize the, the place when we get there. So. We can either stay in the Cascade Kingdom and get everything. We can go back to the Cap Kingdom and get everything. Or we can just move on. Well, you already referenced going back to the Cap Kingdom. Yeah. I know you didn't. We're going to, um... But I also did say we're going to get what we have to get and then move on. Yeah. So basically you're contradicting yourself because you don't know how, bad, how much you want to complete. Yeah, I am. We're probably going to have to when we need to get uh, when we need to have so many stars. Mm -hmm. So that's probably what we'll do. We'll backtrack only when... Only when it's necessary. What we might do, instead of, uh, if I want to show off the new, like, the stuff that's not, that's post-game without having to actually, like, collect everything is, I can just load up my save. Yeah. Oh yeah, this is how your tutorial is. In between, basically, loading screens. Yeah. He's gonna give you your tutorials. Which, I mean, if you have to do it, not the worst way. Right. Like, at least it's not interfering with any actual gameplay. Well, you get some Bruno Mario here. You do. The area that sparked a lot of controversy. Yep. But it's a cool ass area, so fuck them. Yeah. So this is what I was talking about. We have our first off. Thank you. I don't like to do that mix match bullshit. So here we have our gold coin shop. We 
can get a power moon just from buying it. That's powerful. Boxers. Yeah. Because, yeah. you know, for, and that's a thousand coins for some reason. You're not going to buy the power moon? Well, yeah. I mean, it's literally right here. We have the coins. In the post game, technically there are more than 999 stars. Or moons, because technically you can keep buying moons forever. Oh. Once you have the coin. Wow. So we need to, uh... We need to collect these coins to get these costumes. And these are things for the ship. Just kind of... It's the costumes that we want. Yeah. The souvenir is just kind of, uh... Oh, yeah, there was, up. oh, there was three right there. Three what? On the umbrella. Oh. God damn it. Now let's not rush to the area to the point that we're not properly exploring now. Oh, look, what's over there? This is what I mean by, like, it's really easy to to build up moons in certain areas. Because, I mean, there's just... A lot of A them. lot. Of course, they flexing on people here. Like, some of the stuff in town we can't do until after we unfreeze it. Like yeah, that. Yes. So, into the desert we go. Music time. Now this to me was very standard desert theme. Yeah. It doesn't really stand out too much from the previous ones. Yep. We can survey the area here. So as you can see, these areas are huge. Yeah. Literally a sandbox. There's all kinds of... You can spend hours in each location and still not finish everything. Because there's yeah. so much. This truly is the greatest day in the history of our great sport. Hi, Bill. <coughs> you wonder what's in that one block. show Bill. So we are we are Bill. We're Bill now. Get over here, Bill. The galaxy lore comes full circle. Yes it is. Awesome. Oh no Also, sand that's not instant death. It's almost like, you it know. never should have been. It sh never should have been. Uh, oh, they want you to use Bullet Bill to do that. I know they do. I'm just saying for the, the kids at home. But if you know what you're doing. Where are you going? I'm going this way now. So what about the other moon that's over there? Because you never destroyed the last the last box. Aha. The 
fucking real ass looking bug, by the way. Yeah. Well, again, we did just have a giant fucking dinosaur. All right. And there will be a level that has real ass looking people, too. Including people from Mario's past who apparently. Well, I'm not counted. We did it! Precious! Precious! You can look, but you can't touch. Shout out to. Shout out to John Boy. If he happens to see this, he'll be happy to know that I voted for JoJo. That, that's his girl right there. JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. JoJo's Bizarre Presidency, which will not happen. You cocksucker. I come to some like, yeah, I voted for someone. I know they're not going to win, but... That's not the point. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. That's looking kind of sus. Now, do you think I'm afraid to fucking go after that? <laughs> I'll fucking do it again. I'll fucking do it. I'll fucking do it again. Of course. I'll do it again. Oh, God damn it, Bill. God damn it, Bill. Now, Bill. Now, God damn it, Bill. Here's, you know what though? Mario's athleticism is just so ridiculous that I don't feel threatened at all by like much of anything. Yeah, it is quite absurd in this one. Oh wow, Bill. Okay, Bill, just go cheap, why don't you? Be an asshole, Bill. I like how Mario kills people then jumps out of them. Yeah. Kinda fucked up. Yeah, it is. We, uh, just murdered a man in cold blood, but you know. Poor Bill. Oh. Mmm. That one we're not gonna bullshit. There's no way we can bullshit that one. No. Can't you take over like a hawk or something? Yeah, it flew over us before. Yeah. Yeah. Oh god. Oh, Bill's coming for for a life, and he said I'm gonna take it. Now, do you want to explain how quote game overs work in this game? Um, they don't. They just take coins from you, don't they? They just take yeah, and if you don't have any coins, nothing happens. Ah, oh, damn. You're trying to get it, weren't you? Damn it. Oh well, I'm gonna end up dying at that rate. Can't give everything. You can try. Alright, we got a power moon. One of the moons they want you to get. Yep. So as you can see on that list, there is a lot to get here. There's a yeah. lot here. I remember spending Quite a few hours here. Yeah. Now, I could have moved on. Yeah. But I chose not to. I'm going to take a quick break. Okay. Uh, I will be back shortly.
Probably break over. Yep. Anyway. I like how Mario actually, like, has the animation that he's freezing. Yeah. It's a nice little touch. So, I remember we do have to hit these things to get more coins. And then we hit it again to get the laser. So we can break these and get coins. And take damage. <laughs> and take damage. Yeah. Yeah. Nope. Skydiving to our death. <laughs> First death of the game. Athleticism bit me in the ass. Hey, you overshot completely, huh? Yep. You're not wearing your glasses, so your depth perception is normally off when you're not wearing them. Fun fact, Dave wears, has glasses that he never wears. Fun fact, they're broken. Oh. You don't have vision insurance, dude? I gotta make an appointment. I call it auto collect. Yeah. Very convenient. Oh boy. But now you're you're basically above the Yeah, we're you need we're, to be. We're safe at this point. Wonder what that could do, huh? So this guy, you hold the Y button and his shades reveal where the safe spots are. But when he has the shades on, he walks slower than death. That's the... That's the trade-off. That's the trade-off. So you could use him, jump out, and run out there, but it's not worth the risk. Just, yeah. just be slow. Now, I think this one, for the coins, you do have to do that. Because he's... Because he can't jump. He can't jump. Well, it's just a straight shot. Yeah. And thankfully, we're right back towards him. Hey, asshole. Oh, God. Holy... Hi, how are you? I'm Phil. I'm... God damn it. I'm Phil. Phil McCracken. <laughs> what were those things? Oh, they're coins. It's almost like you never died. Yeah, death is very inconsequential in this game. Which people like us uh, kind of sucks because it takes away. It does take away challenge. Yeah. I understand that in the natural. I guess you could call it the natural progression of video games that lives are are definitely an outdated concept. But in but games like this, I would have liked the option. Yeah. Like, um... I forget what the hell game it is. I think it's a, one that came out fairly recently. Um, there's an option to have lives instead of, uh... Instead of just no... Instead of death being inconsequential. Yeah. Is there anything else I need to do? Gonna find the last piece. The moon's gonna form there, you know? That's what I'm thinking too. I wonder. Oh, oh 
Well, just about. Hmm. I know later on there is a cactus that you can possess. Is it over there in that corner? That's the one we haven't been over to. This one? No, 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 no. We want the cactus over there. Oh. No, to your right. Yep, there it is. I'm useful! Well, one of us has to be. Does any checkpoints restore health? No, they don't. Probably don't when you first get them. Yeah. What the hell? Was that supposed to happen? Was that from where you hit the cactus? Maybe. That's kind of funny. Showdown on the inverted pyramid. Okay. Hey! See, there's some deaths that are so bad that I don't even have to say anything. No. Even, my role here as color commentator is to give you a hard time, but, like, there are just some where it's just, like... It doesn't have to be said. Nope. I was like, I've just become the color, color commentator. You pretty channel. much are. You're here to give me shit. Yes. And if you're being too quiet, just in general, trigger conversation. Yeah, like if I'm concentrating. What the fuck language was that? Oh, so there's three power moons over there. Obviously can't get them right, right now, but... Nope. Thank you, Cappy. Thank you, Cappy. Very cool. Oh, this is a moon we can get after, too. Herding sheep. Basically, once we get Bowser to fuck off, yeah. if Dave so chooses to stay here, I don't know how many you need to move on. I think you need, um, see in the top left corner how many are hollowed out. Is that the number? I think that's what we need. Okay. I thought that was how many are in the area. Maybe it is. I don't remember. It's been a while. It's been a while. Bill! Hi, Bill. Bill with a light. I like how we went from, like, just making fun of Bill to, like, now he's our guy. He is our guy. That's our boy. He's our boy now. Oh, my God. First off, I'm going back for a minute. Can't just leave that question mark block there. Nope. Now it's like another death never happened. Yep. We only took away ten coins. Yeah. Like I said, death, super inconsequential. God damn it. I hate when I do that. Also, look with back. Galaxy gimmicks. Galaxy gimmicks. But, in a contained, easy manner, that isn't bullshit 3D or 2D platforming on a 3D plane. Because guess what? That shit don't fucking work. Alright, I'm curious. Uh, eh, worth a hit. Over 500 coins already. Yep. That's more than we collected in the entire Galaxy playthrough. Yeah, it is. Also, I'm gonna... Somebody's gonna end up having their mind blown by this. When I first saw Mario 1 style Goombas, they always looked like owls to me. Like they have like little beaks. I don't know why. They don't look like... They look nothing like the Goombas we know today. A little bit. I, a little bit. 
Like, I think it's because... I think it's just because of the, uh... I'm curious. Did you actually not like this way back? I think I need, I need this guy to come here so I can bounce off of him. Ah, uh, no. Oh, that's what's spawning them. Oh. Uh, that makes sense. Also, oh my god. Nice and full heal. But yeah, if anyone's watching this live and you don't want to stick around for some Pokemon Dynamax adventures later on, I would we would appreciate having not AI partners. Yes. So now I remember this. What the hell? We need to use Bill. I actually have to get all the way across there. Yep. On one bill life. On one bill. Woo. And they gave me basically just enough time to do it. Yep. There's other versions of that later on that are a lot harder. I will say one thing I like about this more than Odyssey is the presence of traditional Mario enemies. Yeah. Uh, Galaxy does not have nearly enough. Nope. That should have counted. I don't think there is anything for getting all that in one hit. But... Look who it is. It's the fuck club. Yeah, everywhere they're going, they're getting stuff specifically for the wedding. Oh yeah, this hard game is rather simple. Yeah. As you like, though, they all have, like, hats because Bowser probably told them not to get stepped on. Yep. Mario will fucking crush your skull. Yeah. He will put a boot to your head. I was gonna say, I do think I can hit those bombs. Also, the guy in green did a good job of coming back to life after being destroyed and turned into a moon. Yeah. Three hits. Traditional. Oh, multi moon. Yeah, bosses usually give multi moons. It was a spaceship the whole time. Kind of. Because believe it or not, we're still not done here. Nope.
And then they're gonna make you all the way back out there. Which is probably the worst part. Yeah. Some purple biddies. They're not quite coins, so I don't mind calling them biddies. There's also 80 more to go here, Jesus. Some of these we can't get until the place is melted. So a lot of what you can do here isn't accessible until this place is melted. Yeah. We got zombies. They froze to death. Oh, uh, T. Yeah, she was made to unbell. So you broke that bitch's back. I did. Tried. There. And it worked. I can't help myself in this game. Like, I have to be super acrobatic. Have to? Have to. Contractually obligated? Absolutely. It's in the fine print, actually. Mm. Not everybody reads the fine print, but... A little contract advice. Always read the fine print. Not something you expected to hear on a stream like this, but, you know... Sometimes that shit just needs to be said. Okay. Y'all heard it here first. I can actually just go there for I say you just jump. I think you're like halfway in one go. Yep. Minus ten coins. Minus five stars. After Sonic visited the Yoshis in Lost in Lost World, Mario and Turner caught up to learn how to roll better. I don't get it. Uh, I'm assuming it's a Lost World reference that I just don't know about. Ooh! I know there is a uh, there is a Yoshi DLC stage in Sonic mm -hmm. Lost World. Also, proper ice physics in this game. Yeah. It's fucky. No skating here. Nope. However, no ice physics for the Goomba. He's and got sticky feet. Goombas can stack. Which is kind of crazy. Yes, it is. I did not realize that the Goombas were the natural enemy of ice. It is their natural habitat, apparently. And... My stack. This is insane. <laughs> Goomba Tower Assembly. Oh, God! Did you have to kill them? Yes, I did. I don't know if whatever that's gonna do is worth it. Whoa! That was fucky. Well, should I say this because I got them shoes on? You have to knock the hat off?
He says, reminder that three Goombas in the lab coat is a doctor now. Dr. Goomba Stack and Dr. Mario World. Oh, I remember this. This is uh, Nintendo's favorite fucking style of boss fight. Also, I think you can actually get up there. Oh, is this the, uh... It's got hands and... Yep. Two hands and a head? Yep. It's Andras! Now, if I recall correctly... Isn't that the three moons we saw up above? Yes, it is. Why are you hitting yourself? That'll teach you. You son bitch. Stupid. Okay, so note to self, you cannot possess them unless they're dizzy. Imagine punching yourself in the face. Repeatedly. Couldn't be me. Could not. Uh, that shouldn't have counted. I'm all... <laughs> what? No, you just... No, I know that, but like... It's still bullshit, if I'm being real. He's also very ugly. Yes. Not that I'm necessarily one to shame people, but he is not pleasant to look at. Back to back multi moves. Back to back. This is kind of why the uh, count is a little inflated. Because they'll drop, they'll just start throwing multi moves at you. So I think, does that melt the world? No. Is that what does it? Yep. I'm going to guess no, based well, on the off. fact that there's way more than one out there. Yeah. Okay, so he's our hand guy. Yep. We're not using him. We don't need him. But now you can actually explore everything. Yeah. Also, this fucking stereotypical music. Bird. Bird. This guy's also a head bird. He tells you the name of them. Yeah, he tells you the name of them. Toad tells you the place where they're at.
frame rate. Weirdly dropping in a tiny room. Yeah. Was it rumbling? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you had to feel the rumble. Alright, well, we have enough moons to leave if we want. And that's basically up to you. Um. Let's do a couple more things. There's some easy ones you can still get. Yeah. Also, if we're trying to complete the bestiary, there is a, uh. a very specific thing still to do. Then there's shit like this. <laughs> yeah, we're in space now. Mario Galaxy. Whoa! I forgot I don't have the hat. Because you throw the hat at him. So he... unlock the, the path. Yep. So basically, you can't be super athletic. I can't. I can't do my usual shenanigans. I thought you did not make that at first. Eh? How am I supposed to get those? Oh, I see. I'm being patient. Dave foaming at the mouth right now. Patience! Why would one ever be patient? I don't like patience. That's why I don't like stealth games. Yeah, fuck it, we're here. Wow. Really? <laughs> you really overshot it. This is what happens when you try to be fancy, folks. Sometimes you embarrass yourself instead. You fell? That's right, you got hit with a you fell by T. God damn it, T. You fell? I can't, I can't be having that. Well, then that sounds like you better stop falling. I was gonna leave without you, Cappy. Leave you in space. Leave you in shitty Galaxy 3. <laughs> yeah. I'm just talking mad shit on, on Galaxy now that other people still think it's the best Mario game when it's not. Cheap up to something? Yeah. I was actually just gonna see if I could, more or less. With those Sonic rings. So, what about that one that's really far out there? How are we gonna get that one? Lost with the Hawk, right? Yeah. I wanna try and get. Is that with a bill? That might be a bill one. Also, might be another hawk one. Actually, it very well could be. I'm pretty sure the hawk has a couple. Yeah. Oh, it's a bill one.
Cultural appropriation goombas. Yep. It's okay, they deserved it. The fuck have goombas ever done for anybody? So what happens if you like ground pound that? Anything? The sand? Yeah. No. It's felt like there should have been something there because it had rings or coins circling Oh, okay, it. I know what this is. I have to bring a, a stack of Goombas. Right. Because she likes them tall. Yeah. She likes them tall and in multiples. She's into that kinky shit. Oh, say, which is, uh... Um... She's into gangbangs. Like, let's just, let's just call it like it is. No, if they want to... If Bill wants to calm down. Yeah, for real. God damn it. I died so I can help someone get their fucking kicks. Get the fuck out of here. I guess I'll help. The fuck. I mean, that's all Mario games have always been about. Alright, Bill. Bill, you need to calm your fucking titties. Well, of course, now the hawk's above us. Never at a convenient time. No, of those in there. They said, I won't remember those are there. I must do it now. Fuck out of here, Bill. Really? Uh, two of them died. Yeah. God, Bill's just being an ass. Bill, Bill does not support this relationship. No, he does not. Bill is not... Is not, Bill's not a man of love. He's, I mean, I, I understand for him, you know, his life's quite short. He has not quite the bang. Yeah, he has a very explosive personality. Bill, I will need you to knock your shit off. You know this explosive personality of yours is why Lenora left you. Not Lenora. Lenora left you and she's never coming back. Get me the fuck out of here. Surprise! <laughs> Surprise, bitch! <laughs> Love in the heart of the desert. Alright, we got the Goomba Love taken care of. Now, if I recall correctly, right, we have an option for where we want to go next. Okay. Like, there are two kingdoms that are going to be opened up. Hmm. I saw that.
When do you unlock the DN kingdom? The what kingdom? The DN kingdom. I have no idea. I don't think of what DN could stand for. That that's fucked up. Cause it's something fucked up. Yeah, I'm sure. It's not being all that good. But I one shot it. <laughs> oh no, Night he posted a link and Nightbot banned him. <laughs> Ban T? No, Ban Shadow for five seconds. Oh, oh no. Oh, Are you gonna post a link and type to caps? Oh. I guess why I caps uh, disabled. Oh god damn it! Without you, without you having to say what it is, I figured it out. Oh. Do you know what the DN Kingdom is? No. These nuts. Oh. That's it. Got him. Trace walking. I don't think I ever did this moon. Yeah, this is the last one we're going to do here. So basically, we just have to walk around and follow the arrows. I think I fucked this up. I think so. <laughs> it was not quite the uh, huge circle you, you designed it to be. Nope. Yeah, I guess you gotta follow the landmarks. Pass it again. Son of a bitch. Make Pac Man. He's even worse. Thankfully, there's like no. Oh, unlike Galaxy, you don't die for fun. Yeah, Galaxy would have been like, give me them lives. You'll get there eventually. Oh! <laughs> oh no! He said, eh, you're trash. This is... You're off to a bad start. Alright, I'm giving this one more try. If it doesn't pass, we're moving on. There's another one of these later, too. That's probably not just a circle. That looks pretty good. There we go. Okay. Okay. So on that note... Let's get the fuck out of here. You're buying any outfits before we go? 
Yeah. I should be able to buy the actual, like, their outfit. Call it what it is. The Mexican outfit? Yeah. <laughs> like, I didn't really want to say it, but, like, I don't, I don't know what else to call it. Of course, the cowboy outfit being the the big one. Yep. Actually, there's one more star we're gonna do before we go. So he said there should be one more moon you can get with that outfit now. Yeah, that's the one I'm gonna do. I just gotta remember where. That's going to burn through our money really quick. And we're done here. Why are you doing one more? Well, I meant with the oh. casino. I got to find the other place. I think you have to get in from the top. Go back on there? The plant looking kind of sus. This one? No, the big the one to your right. Maybe it was just a weird angle. I like it had like a, a moon glow to it. Is it over there, the guy with the jukebox? Uh, let's find out. Ah! Oh. You tried. I tried. The plant's growing. Yeah, that's a thing where I get two more of those seeds and those all get wounds. Nope, it's just a shortcut to the pyramid. Okay, you know where it is? This one? I don't think. Or is this the one I was in already? That's what he did already. He said it's been so long I forgot. Same. Like, I don't remember if it's like going in through the roof or if you gotta like go through a door. Because I know what T's talking about, I just don't remember the exact spot. But I do see that.
There's definitely something I'm missing. There's something we're all missing. Uh, T looked it up. Uh, the player can find a locked door being guarded. No one entered the store. The player needs to wear both the poncho outfit and the sombrero hat. So it's in the town. We're just not seeing where this guy is at. There's some coins underneath there. Coins where? Oh. I wonder. Employees only. We still can't, still can't find this asshole though. I like how we're like, we're only gonna get one more moon, and we're getting like so many other moons. Looking for this one. I mean, I just, I just don't see a locked door anywhere. It's gotta be on the. It's on the back of the. Also, that plant's grown all the way. Is it on like, the back of this? Oh, that's it. You gotta talk to him. I was gonna say, is it possible they took this particular part out of the game? Because I know it was controversial at the time. Dancing with new friends. Alright, so we got about like five more moons that we said we weren't gonna get. Yeah. We're just gonna party here. Oh yeah? Alright, we're gonna move on. <laughs> Party's over. The party's over. He just gave me this look like I was supposed to make the reference and then I had to make the reference. Oh, this guy. What do you have to say? This guy, post game. Really? Yep. Wow. You get the driver's car. No, you uh, just have to meet him in all the different worlds. Wow. Look at all them moons. All oh, them moons. Thirty-two. I think we're going to take a look at One More Kingdom today. Okay. We're not going to go back to the Cat Kingdom or Cascade Kingdom yet. So yeah, this is where we have our first fork in the road. I will tell you right now, Lake Kingdom is a lot shorter. Wooden Kingdom is like the bigger one. Mm. That's a one, the one you want to do. Let's do Lake Kingdom. It's simple. It's our first of two water worlds, by the way. Mmm. Because somebody thought that was a good idea. Probably the lead designer of the water swimming in Galaxy. I actually so swim a lot better in this game than I did in Galaxy. But they were also like, you know what? There's a possession gimmick and there's underwater characters. So let's just like eliminate the swimming problem altogether. Very pretty. 
Of course they are. Oh, we're going to beat him over the head with this rock. Yep. First moon? First moon. Taking notes. Oh, well, there's not a lot here at all required to leave. Yeah. That's why I said we were going to do this one first. Yeah. What the fuck? Yeah, this is the gimmick for this place. Zippers? Zippers. In a water world? Yes. Sure. Now I know. There's something up there. Let's see if I can do it. Not if I do that. Nope. But. Get these coins. There's a zipper over there. Can you finesse? Oh, you're too low. Yeah. Like, it adds bounce, but probably not enough to to get that high. Yeah, probably not. God, that is so useful. Alright, I want to see if I can do this. I might not be able to, but it's worth a shot. You came really close, though. Yeah. Cat Mario. So we do have to take the long way. Ooh, yeah, what's this? The zipper down on the bottom. Oh. Probably need more currency, but that's fine. Yeah, we take that. Bruno Budrati was here, yeah? You could say that. Yeah. Arrivederci. Whoa. Nice callback to the uh, Galaxy Part 7. Oh, it's a Potoglyph! Post game! I, mean, I wish I was kidding, but I'm not. I don't mean, believe you. That's like very post game, too. That's like the post game after the post game. How is there a post game after the post game? Because there is. <laughs> I don't understand. Explain. Because technically there's like a second final boss and then there's like stuff you can do after that. What the hell? Yeah. I wish I was joking. So this is going to be like, if Galaxy got finished in seven parts, this will be like 17. That's why I said... We're not 100%ing it. Like, I might show that stuff off, but we're going to show it off in a completed save. At the end? Yeah. And in fact, that probably, that'll probably just get recorded. Yeah. It'll probably even get live streamed. Oh, someone's playing Pokemon Sword! Hey, that's Nick. Nick, stay online. We'll be streaming that soon. Also, unlike Galaxy, you are running out of breath a lot faster in this game. Yeah, but that's... Because they have ways that you're supposed to function underwater without yeah. being underwater too long. Moon. I mean, if you think the boss gives you three, you're only three away. Yeah. Or does the boss go back to one? The boss should give you three.
Oh, I remember these things. Fuck these things. Bizarre enemy design. Hmm. They're just fucking creepy. Yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Look out to that fucking thing. It's Dory. It's nice calming music. Yes, it is. Just to give you a spot, I guess. Oh, well, I see a few moons. There's one on the back of uh, our friend. Of uh, Dory? Yes. Being a cheap cheap is actually kind of nice for this section. And there's some. There's a piece up there. I don't think you have to. Yeah, you go from the top. Get the fuck out of here! Come on, get out of here! Get! That's kind of rude. And I know you said please, but like still. Not nice enough. Alright, one more. So now at this point you can you can go straight to the boss and leave. Yeah. If you wanted to. I see some purple coins. My fish friend is gone. I guess you actually have to go inside now. Or not. Look at all those fucking coins. Now what costumes do you sell here? Mermaid Mario. Oh. Of course. I can already buy it. I also think this is one of the, um... I think there's also a mission that requires this costume. Really? Here. 
just like that. He said Cheap Cheap should be able to spin a place with serves as an attack. That mm was Dave's way of saying, I don't care. We won't be using them much longer. Now, if you go to that corner, and can bounce up there. There's a lot of coins. Almost to a thousand coins already. Yep. Also, I don't know if you saw that. Well, hello. Okay, three we're going, we're not gonna have to fight the boss to leave. Probably not. Obviously we will. Yeah, we will. Nothing there. Time to go. I'm gonna grab a friend. Break formation. Fuck your formation. Also. No. Oh, over there, some purples. Yeah. Oh god, they're super fast on the surface. Oh, okay, yeah, you can cheat the double bottle. You have to get all in one go. <coughs> oh well. That's easy. Those bottom ones are definitely bait. Yep. Taking more notes. And where are we end up here? Uh-huh. He says he's used to it. Yeah. Well, I went through a, a couple uh, adventures. Couple phases. Couple phases in that uh, appearance. Bucket neck in the water. Why do something when you don't have to? So, geez, what could be over there? Alright, listen up, fellas. Get over here. What 
the hell? I guess that don't fucking count anymore. Okay. Whatever you say, game. Ooh, I saw something. I saw a painting that wasn't blank. So we're going back to Tostada Kingdom. Uh, shout out to Shake to jump higher. Hmm. He was like, wait a minute. What the fuck? <laughs> and who? Back to Waterland. So I guess try that again. Or if you can get out. Let's change the camera angle. That might help. It does say shake it, the high jump. Aha. Now, does this serve a purpose? I don't think it does. I think the coins were the only thing I that did. Oh, I saw something. There's a zipper over there. Oh, fuck you. Over a thousand coins. Exactly a thousand. And we got a moon. So technically, we can fucking leave if we want. Yep. But we won't. We could have done that last moon. True. There's one right there, too. Yeah, that's probably... Uh... Or not. That's stupid. Damn it, let me... There. You feel better now that you killed them all? I feel a lot better now that I've killed them all. Monster. Um. Nope. Nope. They want you to go the long way, which is not very long. Okay, we know that. I thought you were actually going to say something fairly new and useful, but I guess not. Bold assumption. So don't you get into that passage from the... Uh, from in there? Yeah, I think I gotta... Which is permanent? I guess they are in this game. Another fucking moon! What? Why? Because fuck us, that's why.
What's in the box? What's in the box? You could say Princess Peach. Or you could see what's in the box. The box. The box. Oh, did you I see saw, that? Yeah, I did. We'll check that out in a minute. I also saw them purple coins. I was like, gimme, gimme. Yummy, yummy purple coins. It doesn't have the same ring to it. No. Give me them feet. I thought you just skipped the end or something. I was going to be like, you motherfucker. <laughs> I remember this kind of, or at least something to this effect, and I remember it not being fun. <laughs> Almost got all the currency from this whole world already. Yeah. I know we said it's not long, but still. This is certainly quite the completionist run by accident. Yeah, at least at this stage. Yeah. Oh, I know for sure we, we left the shitload of stuff behind in the uh, desert world. Yeah, and the Cascade Kingdom. Oh, yeah. You, you see where I'm getting at, though? When I, said I, don't <laughs> yeah. I don't remember this being all that much fun. Oh, no. Thankfully, Mario is fast as shit in this game. Yeah, I was going to say, he's got some fucking speed. Well, this is it. You beat it. First try. Give us that moon. Also, you don't automatically go into pipes in this game. It's weird. Alright. I think that has us just about ready. What do you think? I think we are. Oh god! Check a point. Oh, my match is a tuxedo, of course. By the way, have you seen my rib cage? Okay, now if I remember correctly. Do you have to like hit the hat while it's spinning at you? Yeah. Oh god, he's really dumb. See, at least with the Koopa kids, like, they're kids. So you accept them being kind of dumb? Yeah. But in the, in the case of uh, these guys, it's just like, this is just sad. Yeah, it is. Like, why would you just stand there? Yeah. You can't see. I know. Where'd he go? Which way did he go? George, can we see the rabbits? We definitely needed that multi moon to get out of here. Yeah, definitely. And now it looks just slightly different. What? The area. Oh, yeah. Got a more red tinge to it. All right. So that is gonna be it for today. Let's put our moons in. Bring 
almost at about 40, I think. 46. 46, okay. 46 moons in the first Much turn. faster rate, though, than Mario 64. And Galaxy. And Galaxy. So, um, I don't want to make any comments on uh, multiple streams this week because I mostly close. Yeah, and I'm, I usually leave by, like, what, 5 o'clock sometimes? Yeah. So, uh, tomorrow I get off at 2, so there will be streams tomorrow. Yep. But beyond that, who knows? Who knows? Now, in about an hour to two hours, so at the latest 9 p.m. Central, 10 p.m. Eastern, we will be coming back on here, but not for this. It no. will be for some Dynamax Adventures. So, anyone who's got the Pokemon DLC and is watching this and you want to join us, you'll be doing private rooms. And, um, yeah, so... So join us for that fun. We'll be back. We're going to go eat some dinner. Yep. And uh, we'll catch y'all in a little while. So until next time, when we start at the Wooden Kingdom, but until then, take care.